A few years ago, we did some research called Taking the Pulse, which showed clearly that there's a lack of confidence in the Bible within the church today. It actually demonstrated that only three out of 10 people were reading the Bible from Sunday to Sunday, or 30 out of 100. So we began to think if there was this lack of uh, Bible literacy and this lack of confidence in the Bible, what could we do? So Bible Society, Evangelical Alliance and a whole load of other agencies decided that we were going to do a campaign and we came up with the title Bible Fresh. We've chosen 2011 as the year to focus this campaign upon because it's the 400th anniversary of the King James Bible. The whole aim is to create a movement of people who are confident about the Bible and maybe even passionate. So as we're more confident and we see the Bible renew, the church renewed in their enthusiasm for the Bible, maybe we can see renewal throughout the church in our land. We're really delighted with the initiative of Bible Fresh and the uh, Evangelical Alliance and Bible Society. And part of our Methodist response to that has been to designate 2011 as the year of the Bible. We remember as Methodist people our heritage of um, Wesley that we are the people of one book. And I guess in 2011 we would like all Methodists to just think about what that might mean and why our ancestors in the faith were so excited by the word. What we've done is we've chosen four streams of activity. So Bible reading, training, translation and experience. So Bible reading can be all sorts of activities from E100, looking at 50 key passages from the Old Testament and 50 from the New. It could be engaging with life, LYFE, uh, which is a Lectio Divina approach to reading the Bible. And then training, lots of courses and things to enthuse and equip and encourage people. Bible translation, looking to make the Bible available, particularly in Burkina Faso. And Bible experience with all sorts of special activities, with one woman shows, uh, theatre, oratorios, film, real issues, looking at conversations on film, all sorts of activities, even a pilgrimage to the Holy Land with Pam Rhodes. So part of our initiative is to celebrate the scriptures, celebrate our heritage as a people of the word. A second part is to wonder why they were so uh, engrossed in this one book and why they seem to be words of life, because so often it seems a dusty, impenetrable volume now. And so our second, uh, second emphasis is on allowing the words of scripture to speak into our lives, not only into our personal lives, but also reflecting on what the words of scripture have to say to our communities. How can we hear again, because the Bible stories are primarily from an oral tradition, how can we hear again God speaking his words of life into our lives and situations? And finally, we feel we have words to carry, a, a treasure to carry, life-giving words to, tra to carry into our communities. And we have a project, the Handwritten Bible, where we're encouraging ourselves to publicly handwrite the Bible across the nation to, um, uh, in public places, in schools, um, uh, shopping centres, um, nursing homes, uh, in the marketplace, to show the world um, Christians and um, uh, valuing the scriptures and um, offering these words of life to the world. So please do get involved in Bible Fresh and I hope that you'll find that actually the Bible does change lives, maybe even yours. We look forward to sharing with you throughout Bible Fresh.